Final game of round six was a difficult one to stomach for West Coast supporters as the home side ripped open a seven goal to two opening term and thus setting the tone for a rather large 58 point victory, making it two sizeable losses in as many weeks. Thanks for stumbling across this week's episode of Eagle Review, proudly sponsored by Kennards. Visit a store nearby or if the couch is too inviting and you don't want to get off it, kennards.com.au. They do online now. Benny Roberts. Oh, let's get stuck into this one, mate. Not oh. a happy hunting ground at GMHBA, otherwise known as the worst stadium name in the history of sports. Without doubt. Last one back there in 06, and we're all hoping for a comeback of significant magnitude as per back in that day. Not to be, as this result, you know, a lot of, a lot of fans question whether Good Friday was an aberration in the wet, just off, but two back-to-back -back weeks with very disappointing blowout losses. Yep, not good, and uh, the numbers were, were concerning, and geez, the scoreboard was concerning as well. It was just right from the get-go, seven goals to, I think it was two, but seven goals in the first quarter. Seven goals in a quarter is not good at any stage of the game, so Geelong were really good, and our boys just weren't quite on the, uh, on the song on the weekend, but what about minus 33 in contested ball, minus 23 inside 50s. Like, no, it's two weeks in a row with less than 40 inside 50s. Hard for the forwards, isn't it? Very hard for the forwards. You cannot get through. I mean, I think Simo said post-game, uh, a couple of years ago we had a game where we had similar inside 50s and it's 30-something to 60-something against Port and snuck it out of nowhere. 11 goals out of Geelong's 15 from turnovers. 11. We only got four from turnovers. There's your game. Yeah, a few corridor kicks not on the money from the boys. What about the Cats' kicking efficiency in the first quarter? So 75% they went out inside forward 50. You don't reckon our forwards would be licking their chops at such yeah. silver service? Yeah, silver service and one man, well, actually, what's better than one Gary? Two Garys. Gary Abler was flying <laughs> 10 touches, 90% efficiency, 55 goal assists in the first quarter. Gary Rowan had a couple of snags as well. He was on. So they were just very, very good from straight away and uh, boys didn't really recover. Very little point hearing from a couple of nuff bags like ourselves. Let's hear from a couple of senior leaders at the club. First off, senior coach Adam Simpson. Just sticking your head over the ball is what we need to do. So, and for whatever reason, we're just not as clean as we've been in the past. And, and that's, um, that's something we can train. And if you're just half a step off or you fumble very slightly, we we're made to pay. Oh, it was a really tough day. Yeah, we're all hurting a lot at the moment, and um, you know, we're trying. We're putting the effort in, but it probably doesn't look like that at the moment. And um, we're doing a few things right, but there's a lot of things that we're we're struggling with, and we need to we need to fix pretty quickly because um, we're three and three. Um, hasn't been the greatest start for the year, but it could be a lot worse. And looking forward to hopefully getting back on the horse next week. There were some commendable efforts across the ground. Thought Andrew Gaff put his hand up as to Elliot Yo fought hard all day. But this bloke, if you told me two years ago, Benny, that Tom Hickey would be leading our ruck division, I'd have punched you square in the face. But he was admirable in his solo gig the first time that we went without a backup two ruck prong attack. Yeah, yeah, first time in a long time they've done that. And a bit of Oscar Allen, a bit of Gov down back, a bit of, you know, a few guys chipping in with the ruck load. But he was very good. A lot of the football, a lot of marks, a lot of hit outs. We won the clearances. Um, no goal, only one goal, only one goal from uh, centre bounce clearances at the weekend. Well, we're last Geelong. in the competition. Last in, that in the stat, competition ben. for that, so something's got to work out. That little uh, quirk in the stats. We won the clearances at the weekend, obviously, but didn't get any impetus from it, which is concern. Good to see Liam Ryan to, to return to the game. Everyone thought concussion at first impact. Even Tommy Stewart put his hand up and said, "Whoa, someone help this kid!" But was able to return, and that is good news when you got blokes like Barris, Redden, Rioli, Natanui on the sideline. Yeah. Didn't want to lose a live wire like Liam Ryan. Yep, well, at the moment, Simo did say post-game. A couple of quick updates. Redden, hopefully back this week. Barris, as we know, had the surgery. He'll be out for a little while. Uh, Rioli's on the uh, looking horizon of a comeback. A couple of weeks, and Natanui after the bye. So some good news on the horizon. Obviously, Barris is bad news, but uh, a little bit of an update as well. Time for the Canards roast of the round. Already, you say, <laughs> when you get beaten by 58, there's very little reviewing you want done. What on earth is that across the screen, Benny? That's where you know you've made the big time, mate. A few animations. Good on you, Canards. Budget increased. Correct. I like it. Uh, look, Andrew Gaff, very commendable talking to us post-game, but I'm not sure about the nose pick mid-interview. He's probably not going to want to do another interview with me again, but you got to pick him up on that one. Cripper, what's he doing? Just kick it, mate. Just kick it. Well, <laughs> does the dozy do and confuses himself and falls over. Gaff, what is this handball? I mean, just kick it again. What are we doing? Just kick it, boys. Keep it simple. Hickey, outmarked by a bloke who is half his size. That's the, that is roast material written all over it. Agreed. 
Luke Shuey, bit of a roast here. Bit vicious here with the bump hitting Joel Selwood in his midriff. Oh, the umpire didn't like any of that. Now, nah, roast there for Shuey. What about the medical team wrapping the bandage around uh, Liam Ryan's head a bit too tight? That's the only explanation for missing a goal by that much. No wonder we're not winning the free kick count, Benny. You got Mark Hutchings tripping the umpire behind play. Let's just get him on our side, boys. Can't say they didn't try everything yesterday to try and get the thing up. Hearn missing targets by this much. I don't think I've ever seen that. What about that one? Dangerfield. He says, anything you can do, I can do better. That's a stinker. Well, it's hard to really knock Dangerfield. He did kick one of the goals of the round in yep. the last 90 seconds when you're meant to be knackered in a game. Yeah, wins. He's got an entry for the car later in the year. Petrocelli, fastest man in the universe and can't bounce the ball up at this stage. I mean, <laughs> things aren't going your way, they're not going your way. No. Round the grounds? Round the grounds. We'll start. This is one of the most malicious acts I've seen on a football field. It's a bit of a father-son combo as well. The old man, nah, go do it, son. The son, oh, I don't want to, Dad. You do it or you're kicked out of the house. Bang! They throw the football down and hit the camera in directly. Part of their plan all along. That is just pure evil from those two. Speaking of bang, what about the Roos team defence here? These boys' communication is high <laughs> down in North Melbourne. And look, that's the sort of thing that can go wrong when you're not switched on. I've got the winner for you, though, Benny. Do you? It's in our own backyard down at the Waffle Game. Hamish Brayshaw's warm-up. Now, I thought he was a pretty popular man amongst teammates. What is he doing here? Can't find a mate. Is there an odour we're not aware of? I'm not sure, but he's just taking it out on the whiteboard. What like there's the no water, tomorrow. And one of the water boys come across and... Too vicious. Did you see the way the eraser just fell off the chalkboard? I don't think anyone wants a bar of Hamish Brayshaw. Roast him.